Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminates 4K screen paint using ambient light projection technology gain. I want to show you the screen finally finished. Now, keep in mind, I still have a little bit of work more to do, but as for the drapes and the trim, all that's done. You just have to come down here right now today and probably just trim this off a little better so it lays a little flatter against the wall and give it a little bit more of a detailed cut to it. Now, the LED lights on the screen had to be eliminated because of how the screen is draped and this movie style material. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some LED lights at the very edge right across here. Not anything too harsh and anything too bright, giving it a bit of a real soft, gentle um, kind of a backlit effect. And also, too, I noticed on the movie chairs over here, let me bring one of them out. Get the movie chair out. So on my movie chairs, oopsie, the wrong button, I have to put it back put it back to where it was let me go back and bring it back out again because the heat rest they actually move out or the head rest all right so there we go so let's see if we can get this right there we go we got a lot of buttons down here people I have a lot of buttons down here there we go there's the head rest popping up I love that the fact the head rest pops up so let me show you what we're gonna do here now I wanted to backlight this sofa but I didn't want to add too much to it so underneath the sofa, there is a metal bar that runs from here. See my hand, it runs from here all the way across. Let me show you if I can zoom up there. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of dark. But yeah, there's a metal bar underneath the chair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a soft lead light right there at the bottom. And then I'm gonna run another soft lead light here. But then again, I don't know, it might be too much. So I'll see where I go from there. Um, if I go down that route and I use that instead, I think I might just do the let the do the chair instead, and that's all. Because I think that'd be I don't want to put too much bright light in here. Well, I do want to have bright light in here. And keep in mind we have this overhead light, but I mean for the movie setting because I'm trying to get this particular kind of vintage setting to it, and I got to go online and do some research. I do want to put a soft light here, LED light here somewhere, or maybe underneath the bottom of the screen. I might put one right here because I do have an area underneath the screen that I can actually still hit and I might put a soft lead light underneath. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one lead light from here to here and then from here I'm going to put one underneath the um, sofa right there. But other than that, it, as you can see, it came across quite nicely. And the bar, keep in mind when I did this, I had a rod that went from here. Trying to find a 120 inch rod was a bit of a challenge right there. I mean, I know they have them, but in every place, in every place where I go, I did not have it. So I had to go to a couple of curtain shops to get it. And then the curtains itself, um, the ones I usually had the other house were around 94. These ceilings are a little higher than the other house. So I had to bring the curtains down and then I had to extend them at the bottom. So they're actually stitched in around the corner. Yes, I do so. So they stitch, they're stitching around the corner to extend the curtains. So they come all the way down to the floor. Now as for the rod, all the way across, very easy to do. What I had to do was get this double-sided Velcro and stick it from here, 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 all the way down. And I had to get an extra one of these curtains and I had to cut them in strips and I had to wrap the strips around the um, metal bar so I would get, that, get it to match get that movie style kind of seam all the way from one end from the other. The other house it was a little easier because all I had to do was take a piece of wood and drill it up to the ceiling and then basically just run my border right across there. But this one was a little bit more harder to actually do. So the movie screen is just about done. Uh, next thing I have to do is just go in and just get some of the uh, vintage movie posters which are a little expensive. <laughs> They're expensive with the frame. Things are very expensive. And I'm going to put some of them here. I'm going to put one there, one there, and I'm going to put uh, one here. I'm going to put the finished post here. I do like that finished doorbell though. So we're going to do it like that. That's how we're going to set it up. It's going to look really nice in here when I get done. And also too, I have some stuff I want to pick up like an old popcorn, uh, not old popcorn machine, but I'm looking to get, I might trade up that popcorn machine and get a vintage popcorn machine. So I think I'm going to get a vintage popcorn machine. I'm going to get some, uh, some uh, movie, um, some movie um, uh, kind of different things, you know, like movie reels and stuff like that. That's how I wanted to set up. It looked kind of vintage. I love the white levels on this technology. 
And also too, I'll drop the lights for those of you who want to see this with the lights out. Now, keep in mind, like I said, I'm using my Progestus, my, um, my, uh, um, my Optima GT 5600 projector uh, that uses, I, can't, I forgot the range on this thing, I think it's 3600 lumens on this projector. Look at the screen. And that's what I love about this technology. <coughs> Sorry about that. That I do not have to be subjected to a dark environment if I don't want to. That's what I love about it. If you notice, in every house that I've moved to, this is probably much kind of our last house, but every house we move to, unless I decide to buy another one. But anyway, in every house we move to, have you noticed that no matter what the environment looks like, these screens always thrive in ambient light. No matter what screen paints we develop, they always thrive in tons of ambient light. You never see us do the same demonstration over and over and over again, year after year after year, in the same environment, the same dark environment, the same dark ambient light environment. We're always putting these screens in different environments, no matter what. If you notice that in my demonstration, you think about that. I've been in three different houses and if you notice in those three different houses, the lighting changes. When we were over on the first house we were at, I had the ceiling fans, which was a lot of light on the screen, and I had the kitchen right next to it. And then I had another house where we had that giant 200 inch screen, or 180 inch to 200 inch screen, and that screen was a ton of light. And it had a light right in the middle of the ceiling, such like this one right here. Then we moved over to the other house that had condensed lighting. The last house I was in was condensed lighting. And over here we had this huge light in the middle of the ceiling that actually pushes off all this light, bright white walls or beige walls. And look how amazing the screen looks. So if you notice in all my videos, you can go back to my archives and you can see the different changes of environments that my screens were thriving in and different forms of technology we develop. But everybody else, if you look at them, same screen, same form of technology, same dark, dim environment, same thing. All right, hopefully it doesn't rain today. We do got a cloudy day out here. I do want to do some testing outside. I want to show you the demonstration against that uh, uh, Supreme 7 versus everyday light screen paint. And just to show you that it's not the way to go. I'm going to be using that 4300 lumen Sony projector just to show you. It doesn't make a difference on how much power you think your projector has. The bottom line is, at the end of the day, you're not going to get what you think you're going to get. Thank you all for your time. I got to go and God bless.